In the last two sections, we created an authentication and authorization system for the app. In this section, we'll complete the home page by retrieving and showing interesting places around a user's location. In the first video of this section, we'll look at the location-based features of the app and prepare to implement them in the next videos. So here's how it works. I type in a location into this form. The app retrieves interesting places around this location and plots it on a map. When I click on a marker, it shows me the name of that location. And when I click on the name, it takes me to the Wikipedia page for that location. We'll use the same workflows and concepts that we've been using in the previous six sections, like the request response cycle, forms, models, and web templates to build this part of the app. We learned a few useful repeatable workflows in the last few sections. The most important one is the request response cycle. It traces how a user's request flows through the app and gives a helpful guide to develop each part of an app. So what I'll do now is go back to the home page and trace how my request flows through the app. This narration will help us implement this part of the app in the following videos. All right, so here's the flow. First, I arrive on the home page. I type my address into a form. Second, I press submit, which posts the form. Third, in routes.py, the code inside the home function receives my address input. Fourth, the home function takes my address and queries for places around it through the model. Fifth, the home function saves the output of that query into a list. Sixth, now that the results are in a list, the home function sends it to the web template home.html. And seventh, home.html displays each list element in the sidebar and on the map. So this is the flow we want to accomplish. In the next video, we will work on implementing this.